Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the promised Messiah and Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, was promised by Allah the Almighty that, I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. In fulfillment of this prophecy, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat has spread over 200 countries of the world, including Sierra Leone. On the 19th February 1921, Hazrat Maulana Abdurrahim Nayar Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, a dedicated companion of the promised Messiah alayhi salam, visited the shores of Sierra Leone on his way to Ghana and thus laid the foundation of the community in the country. Exactly 100 years later from that historic day, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Sierra Leone organized three days special programs across the country for the centenary celebrations in order to mark the community's official establishment in Sierra Leone. The three days celebrations included congregational tahajjud prayer, optional fasting, march pass, both radio and TV programs, and the community's mocks throughout the nation were decorated to mark this auspicious occasion. The Centenary Day was also an opportunity to show gratitude to Sierra Leone by serving humanity, wherein members sacrificed animals which were slaughtered and distributed to the poor and needy people of various communities. The Centenary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Sierra Leone was officially launched by the Vice President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Honorable Dr. Mohamed Julle Jallo. Mr. Chairman, former Vice President, my elder brother, Honorable Ministers, our most revered and respectable Paramount Chiefs, religious leaders, I want to bring you greetings from His Excellency, the President, retired Julius Madabio. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Amadia. Zindabad. Amadia. Zindabad. Mr. Chairman, Amadia, Zindabad. Shukran, shukran, shukran. Mr. Chairman, today is a very big day for the Amadia mission in Sierra Leone and in the world over. Today is a very big day for Sierra Leone because today we are not only celebrating 100 years of Amadia, we are celebrating 100 years of service and dedication to the people of this country. Today, 100 years of service, like the chairman of the Parliament Chief Tennessee Council said, is 100 years of human capital development. The Ahmadiyya mission and missionaries who came to this country 1921, they brought with them education, religion. Today, Ahmadiyya pride itself to provide education to thousands and thousands of Sierra Leoneans. Today, they have over 300 schools. They can boast of constructing 1,400 mosques across this country. As a politician, I know what it means to construct a one mosque. So a mission that has constructed 1,400 mosques is no small joke. Today, they have built clinics all over the place to cater for the health and welfare of our people. Today, the Ahmadiyya mission have expanded to agriculture. That is why when I was in Bo two years ago, I said it clearly that the Ahmadiyya mission is an ambassador of human capital development. And that is why his Excellency, the President Julius Madabio, likes the Ahmadiyya mission. Because like I said in Bio, His Excellency, the President, is a champion of human capital development. And that is the key element of the new administration. That is why we said, Paupa, Salon for better. That, so Ahmadiyya 
like I said in Bo, it's an ambassador of Paupa. Because they are doing what the Paupa government is doing, and they are doing exactly what His Excellency, the President Julius Madabio is doing. When Julius Madabio took power in this country, in the last three years, he has dedicated 22% of the national budget to education. Today, we are paying school fees for over 2.6 million kids. We pay school fees, we pay the teachers, we buy the books, we provide school transportation. And in some areas, we even provide feeding for the kids. Today, as a politician, Everywhere you go, every village you visit, people are asking us to build additional classrooms. It shows that we have added 9% of our population to education. If the literacy rate, we have added 9% of Sierra Leoneans today, we have sent them to school. Every village you go, and that is something that the Amadea mission has been doing, and that is something we continue to do as a government. In the area, we have also recruited 5,000 teachers because the classrooms are overwhelmed and we need to support them. In the area of health, this government, when we came in, it was only 6% the budget. We have moved the budget of health from 6% to 11.4%. It means we have recruited over 4,000 additional health workers. We are renovating, we are building hospitals, and we are making those hospitals in the district to be viable and functional so that people will not be coming to Freetown all the time. The work is going on. We are building clinics where they have never seen an hospital. That is what Amadia has been doing, and that is what we are doing as a government, and we will continue to do more. In the area of agriculture, Amadia has been very instrumental in the area of agriculture. That is one of the key things that His Excellency, the President, is interested in. Because we believe with agriculture, we can make this country full self-sufficient. Today, Sierra Leone spends spend spend about $520 million to import food. Out of that $520 million, $240 million alone on rice. That is unacceptable for a country with adequate rainfall. All what you need to plant rice is water and land, and we have abundant water and land. So this government has dedicated maximum resources to that. Just a couple of months ago is we, Excellency, the government launched a $54 million rice project in the Potloko district. And we hope in the next couple of years we are going to reduce our dependence on rice importation and increase domestic production. We are happy to note that agriculture is the future of this country, and I want to thank Kamadia for interest in agriculture, that also this government, that is a priority. Having said that, you know all the reason why His Excellency the President likes the Amadia mission and is ready to support your work. One, for the human capital development I have just outlined. Second, for the peace you are moving. Every Sierra Leonean knows that His Excellency the President is a man of peace. He fought for this country and he is the one who initiated the peace process. The peace we are enjoying today is coming because of his bold leadership. So that is the second reason why His Excellency the President old Amadia in high esteem. Today, on behalf of His Excellency the President, I want to thank the Amadia mission, and we are here to celebrate with you. Like I said, 
we are here to celebrate 100 years of service and dedication to the people of this country. Your achievements are numerous and we want to celebrate them. We also want to call on everybody. We want to bless the memory of those forefathers, of those missionaries who came to Sierra Leone since 1921. We want to bless their memory and we want to celebrate their heroism. I also want to use the opportunity on behalf of His Excellency the President to send a goodwill message to the head of the Worldwide Ahmadiyya Mission, Azrat Misrat Mashrur Hamad, that we, the people of Sierra Leone, appreciate Ahmadiyya Mission, and we, the people of Sierra Leone, want to thank the Ahmadiyya Mission for the wonderful work they have done in this country. On that positive note, I want on behalf of His Excellency the President to wish you a happy and fruitful one on the dia celebration. I want to reassure you that His Excellency the President is at your disposal anytime to support your work and to ensure that you carry out your mission in this country. Because although, like I said, you, Amadia, is an ambassador of Paupa, you are also doing a fantastic work for the people of this country. I want to also, on behalf of His Excellency, formally launch the 100 year celebration so that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide and support your action, continue to bless you with abundance of knowledge because we believe as a Sierra Leonean, we believe that together we can move this country and together we can develop this country. When I stand here today, I see paramount chiefs from all corners of the country. I see a former vice president. I see ministers and former ministers, members of parliament. I see our mothers there, some of whom have, some of whom have served as illustrious ambassadors of this country. I see young people. I see the future of Sierra Leone here. And I believe this is the goodwill message we have from His Excellency the President that together, Together, we can achieve a lot. Together, we can build this country, and together, we can move this country forward. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The program was well attended by a good number of invited guests and high profile dignitaries, including the former Vice President of Sierra Leone, Honorable Dr. Victor Bokari Fo, ministers and former ministers of government, parliamentarians, the resident ministers of North and Northwest, the ambassadors of Iran, Liberia and Ghana, paramount chiefs, the president of the interreligious council, religious leaders and tribal heads. There were goodwill messages from the participants. Beautiful motto, love for all, hatred for none. And the Ahmadis are a very humble people, very humble. Here they have created for us this venue. We have our paramount chiefs, the best paramount chiefs. We have the governing party, the government of the day. We have people coming from the government of yesterday. We have the interreligious council. The interreligious council, those of our people who bring us together, who teach us moral lessons. That is one thing the Ahmadiyyas are known for. And I say thank you, Amir, and all of Ahmadiyya for the beautiful moral lessons you continue to teach all of us as a country. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community should celebrate this great milestone and many successes it has recorded in its hundred years of existence in Sierra Leone. It is common knowledge that in this country, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has provided many essential services 
in the forms of health care, peace building, humanitarian services, the provision of solar energy, but perhaps more importantly, education. Today, hundreds of non Amadis can boast of the good education they have received from your many schools across the country. Today, I'm representing the northeastern region, a region wherein we have more than 80% of the Muslims. 80% of people that I represent in my region are Muslims. But the celebration of the Ahmadiyya and the effort being done by the Ahmadiyya mission in the aspect of education is very much great. The need, we need to give them a round of applause. I am very happy to be celebrating the centenary with you today because it has been a journey of building trust, culture of growth, and a journey towards achieving excellence. As we celebrate 100 years of visible goodness, I, on behalf of the people of the Northwest region, want to congratulate the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat for their relentless effort in promoting religion and academic all across the length and breadth of our country, Sierra Leone. And I want to take, use this opportunity to appreciate and thank you all for your hard work. Uh, Ahmadiyya Mission is very great at what they do, the energy and dedication you put into your work is shown all over our country. And I want to thank you on behalf of the Ministry of Social Welfare and my personal self. The Ahmadiyya Mission, thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution to the development of our country. You brought education. Education was your entry point. Islamic education, but also scientific education in this republic. Whoever gives education to a country, you're building generations of contributors to development. So you have to be proud that for a hundred years, a hundred years, whatever good we have achieved in this country, you contributed to it. So what we need to say to you is thank you very much. Those who brought this mission here left their countries to help humanity. At that time, it was to help humanity, but also to grow the religion. We thank you for your contribution to our development. I thank the organizer of this gathering and wish them success and hope they will achieve their goal. I thank you. Faithfulness to their motto and guiding principle, love for all and hatred for none. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Sierra Leone has, in addition to catering for the spiritual welfare of their members, in the last 100 years of their presence in this country, invested greatly in education, as previous speakers have acknowledged, also in healthcare services and community building, making all those facilities available to Sierra Leoneans irrespective of their religious affiliations. I wish that Amadea's motto, love for all and hatred for none, be written with golden ink in the heart of every individual in today's world of enmity and hate. I pray, Amadea, that you have a wonderful celebration and a progressive future. You are known only for good things, from supporting peace building efforts to providing healthcare and education services in the country for a century now. I urge you, therefore, 
to keep doing great things as the sky is only your limit. The creation we celebrate today is indeed a memorable one for our country generally and the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jama in Sierra Leone specifically because it represents 100 years plus years of solid contribution to our national development through the expansion of basic education, healthcare services, and indeed Islamic spiritual development of a significant section of our country. As with all such accomplishments, there is bound to have been much hard work and toil and the unavoidable need to therefore remember the people associated with such achievements, even as we celebrate and thank the Almighty Allah for these achievements. Why there was need of a Messiah? You see the map of the world today? Muslims kill Muslims. Muslim countries fight against other Muslim countries. And both announce that we are doing jihad for Bismillah. We are doing jihad for God. Astaghfirullah. Muslim mosques fight against other mosques and both announce that we are doing jihad. Muslim sects fight against Muslim sects. And they say we are doing jihad against each other. We see today Syria has been destroyed. We are very sad about it. Iraq has been destroyed. Somalia has been destroyed. Yemen is on the destruction. So many countries. Even in the name of Islam, our neighboring country, Nigeria, has suffered badly. Today, the majority of the people who are sleeping in the, in the refugee camps, they are who? They are Muslims. Who drove them from their homes? Muslims. Daily killing of the humans, 90% is Muslims. Who is killing them? Muslims. Is, that, is there still not in need of a Messiah? Peace will not return to the world under people will accept. So this is the name of Mahdi and Messiah, and this is the meaning of Mahdi and Messiah that the holy founder of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat blamed. And many people opposed from all sides, and he told them that Allah Almighty has sent me, and my message will reach to the corners of the earth. Is written several time here, I shall cause thy message to reach to the corners of the earth. That was a revelation given to him. Your contribution in the field of education, your contribution in the field of health, your contribution in the field of agriculture, and the provision of water in addition to peace and tranquility in this country is not going to be beaten by any other person because 100 years is not two days. For me, I want you to, I want to join my colleagues that are here today from all districts of this country, including the Travaites, to thank you and to wish you well and to also not give up. We are always with you. I will continue to support the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat. We wish you well. Thank you very much. There were recorded video messages from the former president of Sierra Leone, Dr. Ernest Baiku Omar, and Ahmadiyya missionaries who have served the country. Assalamu alaikum. Hearty congratulations to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community on your remarkable milestone of 100 years of service to our beloved Sierra Leone. When in 1889, Hazrat Mizrar Ghulam Ahmed started this illustrious community in the Punjab area of India, he anchored it on the benevolent message of Islam, peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God. In the advancement of these core principles, you have stretched out far and wide serving humanity. Over the past hundred years, the Ahmadiyya community in Sierra Leone engaged in constructing mosques, educational and health facilities. To achieve this remarkable progress, there are scores of central and local missionaries all across Sierra Leone. 
these missions have spearheaded your community's successful provision of the much needed education, health, humanitarian, and religious services to our people. In view of this, my close relationship with the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and the Ahmadiyya Jamaat itself continues to be one which I highly treasure. Those memories of my annual goodwill messages to the annual conference, Jalsa Salana in Bo, my prayer requests to His Holiness for myself and for the people of Sierra Leone and the many telephone conversations we had continue to occupy a special place in my heart. On this extraordinary occasion, therefore, as was the case throughout my tenure as president of this great nation, I am delighted to celebrate with you. Reaching this unique milestone is a remarkable accomplishment and certainly something worth celebrating. I send my best wishes for the success of the centenary celebrations. As you celebrate 100 years in our country, please remember Sierra Leone in your prayers against the ravaging coronavirus and the Ebola virus, which has been reported to be re-emerging. Let the journey of building trust and culture of growth continue as your founder's vision of peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God endures. Once again, for the exemplary discipline of your community in this country, for the exceptionally peaceful way you have always conducted your affairs, and for the remarkable dedication to the welfare of Sierra Leoneans, congratulations and a happy and safe centenary celebrations. This is a wonderful thing for all of us Sierra Leoneans, Paramount Chiefs especially, we who are the fathers of all people in Sierra Leone. We want to say thank you to, all, to God Almighty for sparing our lives to witness this day. My special thanks go to the Caliphate, His Holiness the Caliphate, the fifth. We want to say how grateful we are for him and his mission. We are all part of the mission. For us in Sierra Leone, Amadia is a household name. Wherever you go in Sierra Leone, you go to the western area, that is the capital. You come to the northern province, you go to the southern province, the eastern province. Anywhere you go, you will see the impact Amadia is creating for our people. Dear brothers, and sisters of Ahmadiyya Jamaat in Sierra Leone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Bashir Ahmad Akhtar and in Sierra Leone I was generally known as B.A. Akhtar. I have spent 21 years in Sierra Leone, therefore I can say that Sierra Leone is my second home. Three years I worked in Ahmadiyya Freetown, seven years at Ahmadiyya Boyajebu, and I was the principal of Ahmadiyya Secondary School Bo for 11 years. I was fortunate enough that Hazrat Amir al Mumineen Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asl Aziz nominated me to come to Sierra Leone and inaugurate the Jalsa Salana of Sierra Leone Jamaat. That was in 2010. And I was also fortunate that Hazur asked me to serve as the guest speaker 
for the prize giving ceremony and the golden jubilee celebrations of the Ahmadiyya Secondary School Bo during the same month that was February 2010. All of us are so fortunate and blessed that we are celebrating today 100 years of establishing the Amadia community on the soil of Sierra Leone. I would like to congratulate all of you for this unique centenary celebration. The pioneer missionaries and all other missionaries who have served in Sierra Leone deserve our prayers in the beginning things were so difficult but our missionaries managed and they left no stone unturned to spread the message of islam ahmadiyat may allah bless all of them i must congratulate morana saidur rahman the amir of sierra leone for his uh, for, because he is working so efficiently and diligently and uh, He is lucky that in his time period, 100 years are being celebrated. My dear brothers and sisters of Sierra Leone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It is indeed a big pleasure for me to know that you are celebrating 100 years of Ahmadiyya in Sierra Leone. Although I am about 10,000 miles far from you. but still spiritually i am part and parcel of all your celebrations i am happy that god gave me the opportunity to serve in sierra leone at rokopur and for few months at makeni my message at this grand occasion is that we are religious people and we have nothing to do with the politics and being that we are religious people the main aim and goal of our life is to find god to be with him and to stay with him for the whole of our life ahmadiyya zindabad sierra leone kankatawana i also want to remind all of you to remember those missionaries who came here in the beginning and went through hardships and difficulties to establish ahmadiyya in sierra leone may god bless them all the occasion ended with silent prayers led by the amir and missionary in charge sierra leone maulana saidur rahman sahib followed by a wood march by Majlis Qudamul Ahmadiyya Sierra Leone. May Allah continue to shower his immense blessings and favors on the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Sierra Leone.